Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice for radio, so today we are bringing you PTCG Radio News. Kind of news, kind of analysis, more on the news side. Let me know if you want more of these kind of videos. We have finally had confirmation of the Pokemon Sun and Moon pre-release promos. They look like this. Now remember that you will get one of four promos, so now it is important to know which ones you want, which ones you should be finding fighting over, metaphorically speaking, no fisticuffs, at the Pokemon tournaments, please, and which ones you should be crossing your fingers to get. So, in fourth place, and it's not even close, it's Bruxish. I don't like this card. I haven't done a video on this card. I don't really think there's very much good about this card at all. I'm not a fan. Now, the video has been requested, so you never know, maybe in the future. It's just not particularly good. I suppose Psychic Fang, 90 damage, free energy, not affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon, so you could attack something like a Jolteon EX with it. Ugh. Now, the next one, this is the most difficult one for me. In third place, Shinotic. Now, here's my reasoning. I really like all three of the cards that aren't Bruxish, but Shinotic, you only really want two of them in your deck usually whereas the others are four offs so that's why Shinotic comes in at number three amazing ability that allows you to search for a grass Pokemon once per turn in Vespaquen decks and Varplume decks and Decidueye decks and Lorantis decks this could be really really nice to help you search out those cards big fan of Shinotic Art's pretty cool. It's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to want this card, but it's only a two-off, so that's why it comes in at number three. At number two, the monkey from Pokemon Sun. It is Persimian. Now, Persimian has got an all right first attack. I did a video about Persimian, although his first attack only hits the bench, not the active. So, strong energy won't do anything for the first attack. But it's the second attack we're really looking for here. Team play. 10 damage plus 30 times the number of Persimian on your bench. Free Persimian on the bench. You're doing 100 damage for a double cut colorless on a basic on turn one you can use fighting fury belt because he's a basic you can use max elixir because he's a basic you can use strong energy because he's a fighting pokemon and if you really want you can even use mew from fates collide to copy this attack get four persimian on your bench and be hitting for 130 for a double colorless Although, do remember that's an ability so we'll be shut off by things like hex maniac garbador and silent lab but coming in at number one, the best pre-release promo, the one you should be crossing your fingers for when you go to your pre-release, it's Orangaroo. Fun little attack, free colourless energy, basic so max elixirs in play, colourless so double colourless energy is in play, 60 damage plus 20 times the number of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. This will be important because your opponent is going to have to think and worry about how much energy they're putting on the active. And if it, that wasn't enough, the ability, which is called Instruct, which I love, because that is, of course, his signature move in the video game, you may, once per turn, draw until you've got three cards in hand. Now, people have been underestimating this ability. Not everyone, but some people. This ability is phenomenal. Now, again, it's a basic, so Silent Lab, etc. will turn this off. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? This is a very, very good ability. A nice attack. And again, basic Pokemon. So Max Elixir, Fighting Fury Belt, etc. You can argue about the order, except for number four. Bruxish, for me, is a clear number four, but I'm happy with my order. And given how much I love Persimian and Orangaroo, the Pokemon Sun and Moon monkeys, Persimian in Sun, Orangaroo in Moon, I am a big, big fan of having these as pre-release promos. Now, who's going to mention that Persimian's a lemur and Orangaroo is an ape? And, of course, lemurs are Prosimians, hence the name. Now, if you want to argue about that or anything else, there is a comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. There are buttons to both like this video and subscribe to this channel. Might I suggest you do so? And please go ahead and follow me on Twitter, at the Wossie. I will be your friend. Let me know if you want more little news hits from this, where it's less analysis and more cards and more giving you information that you may have missed elsewhere. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching... 
PTCG Radio.